art explorers this week i'm doing a short video series called did you know and some of these episodes on did you know are going to involve some art supplies that you may not have around your house if you don't please don't feel left out just know that there are some things that you can do later maybe when you're back at school or you can ask your parents if there are some things you can do around the house to save up some money to maybe get some of these supplies you may have these supplies at home if you do that's awesome so i hope you learn something new and interesting this week and i would love you to give it a try so here we go did you know that the word value in the art world is when you add white or black to a color. If you add white to a color, then you are making a tint of that color, not a tint. It's not something that you sleep in. It's a tint. If you add black to a color, you're making a shade of that color. Today, I'm going to show you how I made a value study of blue. I added white to this color blue and made a lot of different tints. Then once I was done, I cut out an ice cream shape and stacked them all up and put them on top of a waffle cone. Well, really a piece of cardboard I cut out from a cereal box. I'm going to show you how you can do this too. In addition to a paintbrush, a pencil, some paper, you are going to be most successful with this project if you have liquid paint like tempera or acrylic. I used white and blue. Green works really well for mint chocolate chip ice cream and red is great for strawberries. What I did first is I took a piece of copier paper, I cut it in half, and then you can see I had a really tall piece of paper that I folded into fourths. That way it gave me four different spaces for when I practiced my paint mixing. You can see I'm using a paper plate to mix my colors. You could also use a, a page from an old magazine. First, I lay down a little bit of blue. Then I add a blob of white paint next to it. For that top rectangle, I use the blue as it came right out of the tube. I haven't changed the color at all. So the first color that goes down at the very tip top is your 100% color. Then I pick up a tiny bit of white on my paintbrush and I blend it into the blue. You can see I'm getting just a little bit of white and I stir it up with the blue and then I paint it on the next rectangle down. I like how the blue is getting a little lighter with the white. I'm seeing tints of that blue. My third tint, I get some more white on my paintbrush and I stir it into that blue and then you will see me painting my third rectangle. I do the same thing with my last bit of paint. I blend everything together. I'll speed it up so you can watch. Mixing that last tint is the most fun because all you have to do is just mix all the colors together. To make the cone part of my project, I cut a triangle out of a recycled cereal box. I sort of eyeballed how big I would need it to be. I wanted it to be slightly smaller than my cones. I cut a really tall triangle too because I wanted it to sort of look like it went with a super giant stack of ice cream. I took a sharpie and I drew some diagonal lines on the triangle to make it look sort of like the texture of a waffle cone. After I had my cardboard cone ready to go, I cut my four tints apart to get ready to stack them up and turn them into ice cream. I put them all together and drew a sort of ice cream shape on the back of one of them. I made sort of a half circle with two little bumps on either side. You can also see I'm using my cone to remind me how big I should make my ice cream. Once I had a shape I liked, 
I liked I stacked all of my tints up together and I cut them out at once. I glued them together starting with the lightest tint first and then I went from light to dark. Once I had everything stacked up the way I liked it, I wanted to add some details. I thought maybe this was blueberry ice cream, so I put some details on top. I think it looks good enough to eat. I would love to see yours, so make sure you let me know if you make a value ice cream cone. Bye!